Hello dear viewers of the Edible Fly channel. Uh, I hope you had a good Christmas. And uh, on this windy day we are here to talk about uh, NACE 32 and uh, some uh, generic barometer slash magnetometer sensors that we can actually I to see uh, bus. Well I to see bus uh, comes with a controller. Uh, it is an important interface to connect the sensors. The interesting part about this setup is that we're using the Acro version of NASE32 which doesn't come with a magnetometer and barometer installed on the board. Uh, so we're going to use some generic boards that we bought from eBay. Uh, we're also going to use the MTK25 GPS which sits in this uh, little 3D printed box and to feed the power through the 5 volt uh, UV. And in a minute, I'm going to, con to connect it to uh, the Clean Flight interface on my computer and see how it all works. So, here's an H32 Echo version controller, uh, and uh, as you can see, the pads uh, you can see the pads for the barometer and the magnetometer, so the actual chips are not soldered on the board. These are the external modules that uh, you can buy. On eBay, this is the barometer mo This is the magnetometer module, and the other one is the uh, barometer module. So here we go. Uh, we have the clean flight interface in front of us. Uh, we can also see that in the top right corner, uh, all the additional sensors, uh, which is the magnetometer, the barometer, and the GPS, uh, they come up as active. Uh, if you go, uh, well, first of all, you can see that the GPS is uh, one satellite already here, which uh, it managed to uh, connect to. Well, normally it takes time because we are in covered room. If you go to the sensors, so this is the sensors tab. Uh, you can see I've ticked gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetometer, and barometer. And these are your standard gyroscope and accelerometer feedbacks. Now, if you scroll down, there's a magnetometer and barometer uh, feedback here as well. The magnetometer is a very, very steady curve, well, three curves actually. And uh, this is because the uh, sensor is static. The barometer uh, alternates in within about half a meter. And this is due uh, to the fact that uh, it is not covered. You need to cover the barometer sensor with a piece of uh, film and uh, have it in the box. Uh, because it is very sensitive to uh, any change in the air movement and uh, it is also sensitive to light. So, but for the purpose of this exercise, you can see that the feedback is steady uh, and uh, reliable. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video.